For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May 25th is celebrated as African Liberation Day. The day marks the foundation of the Organization of African Unity in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in 1963. The formation of the OAU, or the Organization of African Unity, was a key moment in a centuries-long struggle against colonialism, capitalism, and imperialism. For more than 500 years, African people have been dehumanized and degraded with their bodies and labor commodified to enrich a ruling elite. From slave labor on cotton and sugar plantations to the extraction of gold and diamonds from the earth, the development of Europe and the Americas happened through the rapid exploitation of African people. Through the collective experiences of deprivation, African people in the diaspora and continent developed a resistance movement. There were many milestones in this process. The formation of independent maroon communities by former slaves and Afro-Caribbean people, the first Pan-African Conference held in 1900, the fifth Pan-African Congress in Manchester, 1945, and over the decades, political consciousness grew around the necessity to wage a revolutionary pan-African struggle against colonial and imperial rule in the 20th century. The revolutionary anti-colonial movements culminated in the mid-century with the independence of several African nations from European powers and the formation of the Organization of African Unity. African Liberation Day, as it came to be known, was born from the fierce fight for a new society. As Kwame Kroma said, the African Revolution, while still concentrating its main effort on the destruction of imperialism, colonialism and neocolonialism, aims at the same time to bring about a radical transformation of society. The choice has already been made by the workers and peasants of Africa. They have chosen liberation and unification, for the political unification of Africa and socialism are synonymous. One cannot be achieved without the other. Today, African unity and liberation from exploitation is a distant reality. Western Sahara and some islands in the Indian Ocean remain under colonial rule. Capitalism continues to brutally ravage and exploit Africa and its people. The IMF and World Bank have consistently imposed a neo-colonial agenda on the continent and the Organization of African Unity, now known as the African Union, is a puppet of capital and elite interests. The international working class on May 25th celebrates the victories of revolutionary Pan-Africanism. On African Liberation Day, it recalls the long history of struggles against class exploitation. The working class knows more than ever that attaining full emancipation demands a revolution from below in the interests of people over profit. The only antidote to imperialism that continues to impoverish the African people is an organized force in Africa ready to pursue Pan-Africanism under scientific socialism. Yeah,